You'll go to hell if you've lived in sin. So say your prayers, cause here comes Grim. Hello, darlings. No news show today. Today's been a bit uh, disrupted. Um, I got a letter through saying that I would have to reapply for my personal independence payment. This is an award I get from the government due to my suicidal depression and anxiety and everything else. I know you see a different image of me on, on YouTube and so on, but this is a controlled environment and uh, outside of that, pretty much a bag of nerves <laughs> and, uh, and mental health issues. And so that payment has helped a lot in terms of, well, before the lockdown, travel, and um, re removing stress from that sort of that sort of thing, and uh, helping by paying for a, a takeaway meal every now and again, that's that sort of thing. Um, so it was a bit of a uh, moment to see that I would have to reapply for that because last time I had to not only apply, but I had to attend assessment interviews. Uh, which are very, very intrusive and nerve-wracking, particularly for people with mental health issues or other invisible illnesses, uh, especially if those include anxiety. Basically, the whole system is just not set up for people with, with mental health issues at all whatsoever. Um, you can't complete things over text or email. You, you have to call and you have to attend these interviews where they have this the default is suspicion that you're some sort of blagger even though there's no evidence of people cheating the system to any meaningful degree in any way um so yeah it's a horrible nerve-wracking experience some of you out there in radio land uh might also be getting letters about this but apparently there is a fault in the automated system having called up this morning and they're automatically extending all claims for six months. And this was an automatic mailing system that sent out these letters when they shouldn't have been sent. So apparently you don't have to worry, but I would still call up just to be sure. And this is likely to apply to a whole host of other legacy, uh, non-universal credit benefits that people might be on. It seems quite likely that they're just not up to date. <laughs> any of this and they've automatically sent out all these posts god knows how much that has cost and it also suggests that they know that most people the vast and overwhelming majority of people are not cheating the system or they wouldn't just blanket extend for six months and they wouldn't just let people claim necessarily without having to go through at least some kind of assessment which apparently is what they are doing at least for the moment so some people are getting telephone assessments most people just seem to be getting approved so long as their doctor and everyone is is on board but yeah keep an eye out for that waste of money stupid systems but then this government doesn't want this current system to work do they but at least i've had a stay of execution for six months or so but yeah that's why there's not a lot else going on i have a whole shitload of work to get on with once my nerves have calmed down from making a phone call to the government. Um, so normal service-ish, maybe tomorrow. Zang. <laughs>